everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, we're going to be making some background paper. The one that is all crackled here. It looks like a little bit like faux leather. I will do another video about how to make faux leather with paper. This is some kind of introduction and it's still very different but very interesting. It has a lot of dimension when you touch it here. It doesn't seem much but it really has a lot of texture and I think it's wonderful to make backgrounds. You could also make embellishments with this. Why not maybe cut uh, flowers into this to have more dimension? This is probably something I will try to do later. And these are very small cards. They're three and a half by three and a half so some of them are more man maybe looking some of them like this one is more girly of course so you can do this in a variety of colors and you won't need much materials so let's get started so the first thing we're going to use is copy paper it can be more easy than that and i usually never use copy paper into my craft because it's flimsy and you can't do much with it but that's going to be perfect for this uh, this craft so now that you have your paper you're going to scrunch it The more you're gonna scrunch it like this, the more wrinkles and effects you're gonna have. So take some time, be careful, it's copy paper so you can rip it apart very easily. To make sure what it looks like, open it. Slowly, be careful again not to rip it apart. And I can see already here that I have big parts that are not wrinkled enough. So what I'm gonna do is open it a little bit more and scrunch it for another two or five minutes to make sure that it's really nice. When you're happy with it, you just need to open it and flat it down. And then we're gonna use a brayer. So I would recommend using these brayers that are quite of soft, not the very hard one. It's always nicer. That's my preference. It's a bit more expensive. These ones are a bit more expensive, but I think they're worth it. And if you use jelly plates, they also work like wonders. Okay, so now for the purpose of the video, I'm going to use a blue because light colors may not show up too much. So I would recommend starting with your darkest color. And using the brayer is going to be really easy. So take a little bit of color. And I need to put this under my sheet. I don't want to ruin my uh, workplace here. And you're going to brayer all over your paper. And be generous here. I would do it a few times, go back on top to make it really pop out and look a bit darker. If you want, you can also directly use your stamp pad. But it's not going to be as sharp. If I do this here, and I'm not pressing too hard, the, the only places that are inked up are the most raised areas. As you can see here, it's not as uh, colorful as this part here. I can always come back if I want to darken these some of these places up. But all the small crinkles here, you can't see them doing this technique. This is why using the brayer can be really useful. And I still have a lot of white in the background, which is okay. You can leave it white if you want, or you can use another color. And this is what we're going to do just after this part. All right, now that I'm happy with this, I'm going to use a lighter color. So the first color I used was Chipped Saf Sa Sapphire from Distress. And now I'm going to use Broken China. I absolutely love this color. And I'm going to use one of this color here. And I'm going to apply my lightest color now. This is going to go in the areas that my first color didn't hit. And these sponges are wonderful. They come this and you cut them in half and then you can do, you can cut them again in three parts. So in one sponge, you can have six little sponges like this. And they're really handy to use in your hands. They're not expensive. You can find them uh, into your favorite craft stores. Or also I find them into um, in the improvement stores for maybe three, four bucks. 
and they really last a long time. So I'm gonna cover the page with that color in the background because I don't wanna show, I don't want the white to show too much. So of course I've already done that and I'm gonna give you two examples of what I've done. So in this one, for example, I've added some spots with a little bit of yellow that turned out a little bit green. I hope the camera will be able to pick it up. I don't see it that much. And this one is just blue. I've added a little bit of uh, broken china and I went back with my first darker color to make it look a bit more interesting. I know that on the camera, it looks like there's you know, big splotches of color, but in real life, it doesn't look like this at all. It looks much smoother. Now what you're gonna do, I'm gonna go back to this one. I'm gonna cut a little piece, but before that, I'm gonna take my card. So again, it is a three and a half by three and a half. You can do it a little smaller. In one sheet of paper, you can do about six cards like this, depending if you use A4 size card or a letter size card, and you're gonna be able to do six. And I think it's nice to have different colors to offer or to give to people, depending maybe on the season. It's always interesting to have blank ones. So what I'm gonna do first is take my card and I'm gonna put double-sided tape on it. And make sure to go really well in the corners and on the sides. Otherwise the paper is gonna lift off. All right. Then I'm going to take my piece of paper and I am going to put it around here. I think it's much easier to do it this way than try to make it perfectly fitting, uh, perfectly fit your paper. And then I'm just going to cut around. I like to make things easy because with double-sided tape, you don't really, you can't really miss, you, you can mix up very easily. If you don't place it well, you can't lift it up. Especially now that this paper is all wrinkled and inked, it's kind of, you know, fragile and flimsy. You might rip it apart and that would be a shame. And there you go. You've got yourself a little card and it's still very well raised. You can feel it. I love the, 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 the texture. And now I've already cut out some um, embellishments here, something very easy, two little tags. And I'm just going to ink this one up a little bit and I'm gonna use my, yeah, I think I'm gonna use the, the darkest color. There you go. And I'm gonna make my card look very simple. I'm not going to put the, um, the sentiment right now because I don't know yet I who I'm going to offer it to so I like to leave them blank first then I'm going to use some dimensionals they're quite old actually so what I like to do to secure and make sure it's not going anywhere is to add a little bit of adhesive on the back and make sure it's going to adhere very well I'm going to put it up here a little bit. I think it's centered. I really love the look of it. It's it's kind of the color you see right now with the oceans. All right. And I'm going to take this color here. So it's going to pop up a little bit. It's just a very simple ribbon. And I'm going to put it down here. All right. Yes. I'm going to take that again. And I'm going to do something very easy. I'm going to use, again, double-sided adhesive, run it along, and place it. I'm going to start here, and there you go. Place it exactly where I want. There you go. 
and it's done. You have a little card done in minutes. And remember, in one sheet, you can make several of these. So that's nice. You can make a whole bunch of them in different colors. And if you want to sell your craft, well, that would be a good idea because you can make a whole bunch, sell them maybe by four or six cards in one color or also do another package with different colors in it. I'm sure a lot of people will love this size and will love the look of it and also the texture. Easy, fun, fast, not a lot of materials. And again, it's very unusual and I love crafts like this. It's good for beginners, but not only. It's for everybody. It's nice to go back to basics, right? So if you like this video, please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button and also share on social media. Let me show you from close what it looks like. It's absolutely great. I'm going to show you this one too, the more maybe girly one. I have used a little, uh, I've tried a uh, metallic pen here saying it for you, but it's in French. This one has a bit more green in it. Again, I'm not sure the camera will be able to pick it up, but there are some green spots here. And this one is very greenish and a little bit of brown. This is more masculine as well, but I think it's really nice. So you can you see just by changing the embellishment, it looks completely different. That would be nice also for fall. So there you go, many cards, different ways of doing them, and I hope you will like them. There you go. I hope you're all doing well with this uh, COVID-19 and your home or maybe outside. Please be careful. Take care of yourself as much as you can. And I hope to see you soon for more tutorials. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.